are the pyramids of China hiding that no one is talking about? Well, we have many that are covered by hills. They're uh, camouflaged. And also, lately, the China Lake Fujian Pyramid has been found in excellent condition. It's a type of a step pyramid, as we can hear, see here, it's underwater. So, what are they hiding? Where in 1945, the U.S. Air Force pilot James Guzman flies between India and China. Suddenly, a flash catches his eye wandering from the plains in, uh, into China. And it's a huge pyramid that would embarrass Giza because of its size. It was white on all sides, said the pilot. He said it, it, the remarkable thing was the cornerstone, a huge piece of material like jewelry that could be crystal. There was no way we could land, even though we wanted to. He says, I was impressed by the huge size. Two years later, Colonel Maurice Sheehan, the Far East Director for Transworld Airlines, TWA, reports the same experience. This time, the New York Times published this story, and the world is fascinated by what could be one of the greatest finds in archaeological history. It was really a pyramid, much larger than that of Giza. Was it? The so-called Great White Pyramid of China, estimated to be 20 times larger than the volume of the Great Pyramid of Giza. It's like that, and if it is, what could be hiding inside it? But this is not the only pyramid said to exist in China. Over the years and decades, mainly due to modern technology, we're now able to know that there are too many pyramids, or even pyramid-shaped structures, to count. Today, Google Earth provides details and images of several pyramids in Qi'an, Sanqi province in northwest China. There are at least 40 known pyramids, but they are not easily discernible to the human eye, as they are covered with trees and look like hills. However, there are some uh, that do not cheat on their shape, and it's said that some people intentionally plant cypress trees or trees of some kind, which, have, which are fast growing in order to cover these um, that look like hills and what is still visible to the naked eye or even from satellites. Some of the pyramids look more like giant tombstones for ancient emperors who built them. And for what reason? As early as the 17th century, a Jesuit Roman wrote about the pyramids and in 1785, the French sinologist Joseph de Guise wrote an essay, Memoir de l'école en preuve que les Chinois Son une colonie égyptienne. So briefly translated into English, it says his memoirs concerning the uh, what proves that the Chinese pyramids are were actually because of a, an Egyptian colony in China, and in which he seems to prove that the Chinese are an Egyptian colony. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Now, I just want to refer to the fact that Alexander the Great had gone on into the ends of India. There are also accounts that he went to the end of China, and that he had a uh, lightning rod of Zeus, an Atlantean, uh, super weapon that he had with him, that they were, and, it, and his generals buried it at the end of the coast of China at the uh, Pacific Ocean. And uh, he had, uh, Alexander the Great kept chronicles of what he was doing, his conquests, what they were observing, and his historians claim that he did find Nephilim uh, entities and that he buried them, he did away with some, he buried others under pyramids. Okay, so I uh, just want to show the fact that Alexander the Great also had the task of doing away with Nephilim. Those he didn't uh, do away with, he buried under the earth and covered them with pyramids in China. Now, going back to this, uh, as uh, academic Think West Sind explains, both Chinese and Egyptians used hieroglyphics in order to hide their secret wisdom. Egyptians and Chinese both with respectful tradition. They were greedy practitioners of science especially astronomy, and believed in the migration of souls. Other researchers believe that these are Pelasgian pyramids in China made by the sons of God and uh, 
what we call Nephilim, and proved, uh, provide arguments to support their theory. But for other researchers, it's not enough. Others claim to have discovered sunken pyramids in the lake in China. Well, we would just have this picture here of uh, the China Lake uh, Underwater Pyramid in Fujian, uh, recently discovered. Uh, and this uh, pyramid, sunken pyramid in the lake, which are thought to have been the work of the El, or the Nephilim, that is, some ancient uh, Greeks as well. However, even this conjecture cannot be supported in any way, mainly due to their location underwater. It's rumored that some of the 40 pyramids on the surface in the Qian area date back to 8,000 years ago, but it's uh, clear that this is not scientific evidence. And let's not forget that when we talk about pyramids of China, we're talking only about scattered information as well as that which has been provided by the Chinese government that is quite tight and frugal in various things. We don't know the uh, facts, obviously, it's whatever they give us. Western archaeologists to this day rarely have the opportunity to research these sites. There are various legends and rumors and stories telling us uh, what we wish that describe what can really exist inside these pyramids. Others talk about mini cities, palaces, treasures, situations that take you to other dimensions or worlds, ancient alien spaceships, and uh, much more. Are some of these fantasies and some science fiction? And this is how we get to the title question. Why is China hiding its pyramids? Why does it not provide information on these structures? Why not let archaeologists approach them and examine them? Why not use them for tourism, for example, with the exception of a few that are considered mausoleums? Why, what are the other pyramids of China hiding and not talking, why not talk about them? And yet there are two indirect answers to this behavior. They may not seem satisfactory at first glance, but they tend to answer the question. First, the Chinese government says there is no such technology yet to excavate the pyramids without destroying its contents. It's really smart what they're doing. Archaeologist Christine Romy, curator and consultant for the Terracotta Warrior, told Live Science, referring to the burial deep down a hill in Central Asia, surrounded by an underground trench of Poison mercury, can you imagine, they even used poison mercury, the tomb of China's first emperor, Queen Shi Huang. It's a mausoleum that while they know that they may be answers to many historical mysteries, experts do not risk to, so much to approach it, let alone the other possible pyramidal structures. The archaeologist said, think of all the information we lost just based on the excavation techniques of the 1930s. There is so much more information we could learn, but then the techniques were not what we have now. Even if we believe we have great archaeological excavation techniques at the moment, who knows, a century later, if we open this tomb, it could be even better. Second reason, according to the scholar Westjin, there is another answer. The strong respect for tradition of Chinese culture could mean that they just want to leave their monuments in peace, which means that we will have no choice but to guess their secrets until someone decides otherwise. One cannot know whether these two reasons mentioned are the real ones, whether there are other deeper, more substantial, or whether research is already being done, but their results are not coming to light. Either way, you can locate the pyramids yourself uh, if you have enough time on Google Earth, and the coordinates are here in the article I'll leave below for you. Um, they're basically around 34 degrees 26 north and 108 degrees 56 uh, degrees east. That's just about the area, the pyramids of China on uh, Google Earth. But what are they hiding? We still don't know. So I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.